Hey guys, just before we get into the video, I've got some giveaway info for you, of course. So the first comment on this video is going to give themselves a YouTube mystery box, so congrats to you. And aside from that, today we're going to have two big winners on today's video. Each of you walking away with a $50 donator scroll worth over 500 mil each. Yes, you can win if you're an Iron Man. All you guys have to do to enter is comment your in-game name down below, do you like on this video, and be subscribed to my channel. Now, real quick before we get into the video, I want to say thank you guys for checking out Zeros. I mean, there's over 300 online at 8 in the morning my time. Peak time is probably like 2 p.m., 4 p.m. around there. When I started posting videos on here, I was literally sending messages to the owner saying like, Oh my god, we're almost at 200. Woo, so cool. And then within just a couple of weeks, like we hit over 400 players, peaking up to like 450 plus, almost hitting 500. So if you guys have not checked out the server, make sure you check it out with the link down below. Come check out the calendar event, log in, type colon colon cal or click the link in the description below and as you can see every day of this month on zero so giving away 100 mil old score hours gp for extremely simple tasks anyway sorry for the delay in my uploads i've been really busy irl plus these clips are starting to take longer to get because yes we're heading into the end of the game but yeah good luck on the giveaway and i hope you guys enjoy the video oh i got my cult I got it at basically 100 KC and it's one in 231, so it's not that bad. So after finishing off my occult, I figured I'd go finish off the Mage Arena 2 cape because it's really easy and it gets good mage damage. Battle mages on here do hit through your prayers, so the meta is to bring Blood Barrage. I guess you could bring food in a trident if you don't care about eating because you'd get more DPS, but if you want to stay longer, which you probably do, you should just bring Blood Barrage and the drop rate is about one in 200, pretty close to there, so it's not too bad. Plus it's an untradeable, so. Finally, man, let's go. I basically got that on the drop rate, but I killed like a hundred of the other kind. So I guess call it like 252. So I was over the drop rate, unfortunately, but at least we got it. Hey, I've a little bit, have a few hard clues. Still looking for the third age robe. And uh, if I get the third age melee legs, I'll have the full set. So that'd be cool. Never lucky. All right, I'm gonna go work on that Bandos task I got last episode, but I wanna get a Crystal Weapon Seed so I can get the Crystal Halley, cause uh, Dragon Halley's pretty shit. I don't know if it's 100% true, but I was told you get a Crystal Seed and use 10 mil cash on it. We'll see. Oh, I got the Crystal Seed right after that. Oh, it's Weapon Seed. Okay, so I guess you don't use the cash on it. You talk to this guy and... Can this thing fuck off, bro? All right, there we go. We have Crystal Halley. So after finishing off my mage gear and grabbing the Crystal Halley, I decided to go check out that Bandos task again. And I guess the meta on here is you camp the plate body and the legs while wearing the staff and all the accessories like the Ami and the ring and whatnot. Pray melee, you kill the major. Then you keep praying melee, you kill the boss. And then you blood barrage the minions for HP back. You can also do this with Guthans, but I really didn't want to go 200 dry again, so I just grabbed mage gear. It's not really too AFKable, and during this trip, my friends wanted to do some TOB, so I didn't finish the task. GL. Nothing. Dude, there's no way. We're both gonna hit 20 with no drops. Blake's like 40 dry. That's actually wild. Wait, that that raid was the exact same time as our last raid. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was. The exact same second. Nope, not me. Not anyone, ever. Let's go, it's me. It's me. It's me. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's not a bad first. Give me that shit, dude. Use that on there. Hey, not bad. So another thing I've been doing a lot is Crystal Slayer. In this session alone right here, I did over 2000 Crystal Monster kills. The Crystalline Keys are actually really hit or miss when you're doing Crystal Slayer. If you've done a Crystal Slayer for keys, you already know this is true. You either get one task where you're getting three keys or you're going 10 tasks dry and you want to smash your fucking keyboard. Ended up buying myself the Elven Signet, which boosts your damage against the Crystal Monsters. And I saw a Slayer Mystery Casket in the store for a thousand points, and I was like, ah, fuck it, I gotta do it. The reason you get the casket is to try to get the Salve EI, but instead we get... I was gonna get 10 keys and then do a Hunlift session, but I think I got around 7. And the first kill back after not doing it for a while was a bit rough. 
I was clicking everywhere, trying a bunch of things, and it just wasn't working. But all you have to do is pray melee until it starts shooting this white shit at you. When he starts giving you the cummies, just pray mage and you can literally stand in it and he'll take zero damage. When he stops throwing them and you just take random damage, pray melee. When he does no animation and you still take damage, that is typeless so it doesn't matter what you pray. But once you kill the boss, you'll get a red key that you take over to the altar at the crystal cavern teleport. Make sure to grab your chest rate bonuses as it does give you better drop rate. Crystal legs is the drop. Oh, another crystal drop. Another crystal body. Bro, where's my corrupt crystal? I don't even know the rate of it, to be honest. I'm gonna foe all this stuff. So after burning all those items, I was only 10k points away from the Shadow Archer. I was really tempted to just burn something in my bank so I could just buy the pet. But I decided to go back to do Crystal Slayer, grabbed a few more keys, and burned the loot from those instead. So after burning those last few items, I finally had enough for my Shadow Archer, which gives us a 50% chance for an additional 10% range strength in PVM. And as you probably know, on Zeros, you blow pipe just about fucking everything, so having that 50% chance to have that range bonus is really, really helpful. Especially on a Slayer task where you get that Slayer Helm buff as well. Double drops and drop rate bonus were active, so I headed over to Cerberus. Hey, let's go. So glad we didn't get a third fucking eternal crystal. Oh wait, someone just got a primordial right after me. Now I don't have to look like a scrub with D boots. And gimme. They look so good. Another Primordial, I see. I mean, I won't complain. I can go uh, foe the Prim Boots. <laughs> I'm getting flamed, don't know. Wait, I need to see how much Prim's actually foe for. But these burn for 16.5k, that is not bad. Ooh, we just got Boss Hunter 3 achievement. From that, you get six PVM caskets. Also have a few other random achievements to claim. Sent all that shit to the bank. What do I get from the PVM caskets? Fucking garbage, of course. What is that? Yuck. I guess I can't complain, dude. I've had three drops this task, including this one, and two primordials, so I really can't fucking say anything. It's a collection log entry, at least. <laughs> 